Two deadly accidents on the same stretch of road in just one week. What can be done to make that highway safer? We're digging for those answers tonight. Both of those accidents happened on I-84 and West Hartford between the Troutbrook Drive and Park Road exits. Now, now. state lawmakers now pushing for changes that he says uh, would save lives. News 8's A.J. Walker live in West Hartford tonight with what he wants done. A.J.? Darren, a state representative wants to talk with the Department of Transportation regarding a specific area of I-84 that runs through West Hartford. Now, this area is called the S-curve because it's a curvy part of the highway that drivers tells me, tell me is very dangerous. But today I spoke with officials from the Department of Transportation. They say it's not the highway that's dangerous. It's careless and distracted drivers that are causing the danger. It's safe. Nothing happened. I mean... Although some drivers who use the stretch of I-84 that runs through West Hartford say it's safe, there have been two fatal accidents on that highway just this week, and now its safety is coming into question. State Representative Joe Varengia called a meeting with the state DOT to address safety concerns on I-84, and some who use that stretch of highway daily agree that it needs to be studied. West Hartford Center coming to 84 could be dangerous. But What's dangerous about that exit? Because the way it's a curve and then people are coming in and if you're speeding it's kind of brutal to get on cars whipping by flying by every day the department of transportation while agreeing to meet with Varengia, says it's the drivers who make that part of i-84 dangerous not the design of the highway an attitude some drivers share you can't do much more with the road i mean it's how many lanes wide already it's there's plenty of signs there's flashing LED signs. The Department of Transportation released some statistics about the most common causes of I-84 crashes in West Hartford between 2009 and 2013. They say 681 were caused by following other vehicles too closely. 193 were drivers losing control of their vehicles. 171 caused by improper lane changes. 136 caused by drivers speeding too fast for conditions. And 30 were were caused by a driver who struck an animal or object. Huh. Do you think it's the drivers or the structure that's making it unsafe? Hard to say. I mean, there's a lot of turns. Uh, it gets kind of narrow, especially when you come through the tunnel, going near uh, kind of 91 north and south. And the spokesperson person for the DOT tells me they plan to meet with Representative Varengia in about a week or so to address those concerns about I-84. Of course, we'll stay on top of this developing story. For now, live in West Hartford, A.J. Walker, News 8.